What is that? Are those children or dogs? Jeez. How's it guys? Good morning. Welcome to 2020. Um, I haven't vlogged in a while. We're just going to skip over that um, and get right into this video. <laughs> uh, today we are going to Cape Point. So here is everything you need to know. Start off with a healthy breakfast. Morning Sav. Morning. Happy New Year. Oh yes. Happy New Year to everybody. Um, I am making la... I don't know where this came from. I'm making lunch um, for us. I'm gonna make a little sandwich and Sab likes these little rice corn cracker things. So we're doing that with some of this uh, wafer, wafer thin. It's only a wafer thin. Smoked chicken, cream cheese, and on my sandwich, I'm gonna put some mayo, there's butter, and I've got some pir pir sauce. Cottage cheese, sorry, cottage cheese. We are boiling some eggs. This is for breakfast, boiling some eggs. Dippy soldiers making with the toast. It's gonna be while we wait for the water to boil. Oh wait, that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna make the sandwiches while I waited for the water to boil. How was everybody's New Year's? How was everybody well, how was everybody's New Year's Eve? Because that's traditionally the big party party day. Um I went to the Matrusburg with some friends, I had a great time, decided not to film, not to vlog it, um, because I just I D didn't want to have the responsibility of vlogging um, and just wanted to have a great time with my friends. So uh, that was really nice. Took a bunch of photos, took a lot of photos. I'm, I'm gonna go to Orms and get some printed because I want to make them into like an old school photo album, you know, otherwise they just get lost in the, in the digital space or whatever. Not really planning on posting it to Instagram. It was like proper holiday snaps, you know, candid holiday snaps. Okay, everybody get in the line, set up the timer. Take, okay, one with the boys, one with the girls, whatever, whatever, whatever. So that's uh, that's that was my New Year's Eve. But otherwise, I wouldn't mind to go back up to the Matrosburg to film to show you guys. It was actually really cool. I should have filmed. Sorry, but uh, you know how these things go. If you were worried that I hadn't uploaded a video since well, like halfway through December, I haven't given up vlogging. Um, as you will already know by now, because I think there's like three or four videos or maybe four or five videos in between now and the last one that I put out. So you would have seen those already. But here we are. This is the first video in 2020. And um, my New Year's resolution, although I'm not the biggest fan of New Year's resolutions, uh, I've done it before and I'm going to try and do it again, is to um, cut out cool drinks. Any sort of fizzy, um, artificially sweetened, sugary drink. Yeah, that's my that's my aim. I have done it before. 2017, I managed. Uh, was it 2017? Yeah, 2017, I, I did it. Especially this year, it's so much easier because check this out. This drink, sp sparkling spring drink, lychee and ginger flavored. It's basically sparkling water with flavor, but there's no sugar in it, so it's not sweet at all. But you get the taste of uh, fruity flavors with none of the sugary stuff. So yeah, that's mine. What's yours? Did you make one? Anyone have uh, anyone have any New Year's resolutions that are different or new? Um, how many of you are stopping smoking? Dad, you watching? <laughs> there we go. I didn't quite do Dippy Soldiers for myself. I just did a, a soft boiled egg on toast. Let's have it, the Dippy Soldiers. How are they? We've got our refreshments, some snacks. Got that from my mom. She's in built on straws. I haven't tried them. Sam said they're delicious. But there's your weather check. Not the best. But hopefully it's not too hot because it can get quite hot in the sun. And what time do we have? Just after half past 35 minutes past 10. So oh, probably going to be at Cape Point in the heat of the day. As we come up to Newlands Brewery, uh, the Newlands Cricket Grounds just over there, and it is the New Year's, you can see the lights, it is the New, Year, New Year's Day test, which is no longer on New Year's Day. Um, it's on the 3rd. Today is the 3rd, 3rd of uh, December. Check out all the buses, obviously bussing people in to come watch the cricket. I wonder if this is just the Barmy Army. The what? The Barmy Army. The, the, the English cricket fans that follow around the English cricket team. We're playing England, aren't we? We are, yeah. This many people. Possibly. Cape 
point reserve, keep left. Check this absolute snail trail of wool. Okay, point, here we are. And all of the cars, everyone else is here as well. Here's your price list. So if you saw on the price list there, South African residents get a uh, discount um, and SADC residents. So yeah, you need those things if you want the discount. Hi, how are you? Sorry, Good, thanks. Are you local or Local. Do you need ID? I got handed this. Um, so there you can see the cost for adult, 320, RSA, 80. If you can prove with your original or certified copy of ID, driver's license or passport. Cool, 40 minutes later and we are finally through. You can see the queue's still popping off back there. Uh, so, home time all. Yeah, <laughs> now time. Let's get these, uh, let's feed some baboons. <laughs> oh, it, we are the baboons. Um, yeah, you're not supposed to feed baboons. Check there, our first wildlife sighting. An mm. ostrich. What is he doing here? That's what I want to know. Also, worth noting, they are aggressive. Do not pet them. Do you get ostriches outside of South Africa? I'm not sure. I know you get emus in Australia. Anyway, they're aggressive. So, you heard it here first. Don't go petting them. False thrice. Okay, here we are. This is uh, the Cape of Good Hope. There's a little hike vibe. I've done it before. And Sam and I are both in long pants um, and we're not particularly keen on getting hot and sweaty. Um, but you can see the people sort of hiking up. There, you can see them sort of going up there. You can see them up at the top. Um, but we're just going to bring our little cooler box and there should be a sign somewhere over there saying Cape of Good Hope, Cape Point, something like that. And we're just going to chill there, have a sandwich and then move on to the next spot. There's the sign, Cape of Good Hope. There's the start of the hike, but the real point is around the corner. Um, I mean, we can go find it if you want. There you go, there's a fun fact. The most southwestern point of the African continent. It's crazy how the wind forms these rock formations here. Seals. More wildlife for the day. Lizard. Yeah, he does have a long tail. Obviously, he hasn't been frightened in a while. In an effort to be 100% transparent, I know this morning I said I'm cutting out sugary drinks, fizzy drinks, but I had this appetizer left over from New Year's. So this is the last. This is the last one we're having this year. Well, at least I'm having. It. I think Sam also wants you also on that train here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All aboard. Doo -doo. <laughs> mm. Oh, so good though. To be fair. Appetizer isn't no, quite no, no, no. a. <laughs> no, but it isn't. Look, read the ingredients. Ingredients are. Sugar. No, where are they? Yeah, ingredients reconstituted apple juice, concentrate, carbon dioxide, preservatives. Boom! It's apple juice and sparkling. They've just added sparkling to apple juice. Oh, international people won't know about Appetizer. It's a South African brand. This is. It's basically our sparkling apple juice. It's delicious. They make a grape one called Grape Tizer and they make a pear one. Can you guess what it's called? Grape Tizer Pear Edition. There's a new one. <laughs> Are you guys ready for it as we come around this bend? Those guys. Those guys over there. Almost looks like a fictional entry to some sort of old ancient town, you know? It's like you have to pass between the two heads. We have escaped the crowds. Look around us and we have come and found Diaz or Diaz's beacon um, for those of you who don't know it was a Portuguese explorer uh, Bartholomew Diaz or Bartholomew Diaz I'm not 100% sure how to say his name um, I'm probably I'm gonna go with Diaz but uh, yeah this is his beacon what what's there oh yo check this guy out <laughs> I think it was a little snake Um, they used to, I think on those two poles there, that's where the sort of information board was. Might have blown away. Very possible. We got a baboon. Yo, he just like stepped right out of the bush. I was like, oh my god, it's a dog. And then, no, it was a baboon. We've got a tidal pool that we can 
Go for a little dip down here. But, uh, sure, that gave me a fright. Gave me such a fright. <laughs> She's like stepped out of the bush. Yeah. Coming for a little walk on the beach. Um, I hope there's no thorns in this grass so that we can get back to the car without having to put our shoes back on. A little bit windy, so you might struggle to hear me, but this beach is actually beautiful. There he is. Now, Drake, you must chill out. We've got some baboons. <laughs> oh my word, there's so many of them, actually. Check over there. Oh my God. There's a whole troop. That's what they're called. Mm -hmm. Collective noun, troop of baboons. Baboons. Hey, guys. Look at the baby. Oh, they're adorable. Oh, the little ones. <clears throat> These people oh, are... there's a fucking ostrich. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, there's two. These things are. You've like already I said, said it. aggressive. They are. Oh, I don't know why these people are getting out of their car. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Though. They don't know. Well, if they get attacked, it'll be great vlog footage. Come on, get attacked. <laughs> I mean, I really would not recommend that. But you do your thing. I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> What now? Oh, that's right. Back it up. Back, Back it up. up. Yep. <laughs> I think I should warn these people. Sorry. <laughs> Yo. What's up? Excuse me. He's looking past us. He doesn't see us. This guy is right here. I could ride him if we wanted. Yo. He's got some talons. Here's his chick. <laughs> well, now I can't reverse. <laughs> have, He's like right have, you, us. have you ever tried to reverse and look in your review, your review mirror? <laughs> that, that booty! <laughs> More wildlife spottings. Everybody Aww. being nice and respectful. He's so cute, He's actually. He's so cute. Oh. Hey, little guy. He's quite fat. Hi. If it wasn't already clear, this is a sand parks uh, thingamabob. What is this reserve in South Africa? We are popping to the Buffelfontein Visitor Center. I just want to see if I can read up about those Dyer's, Dyer's Beacon things. There we go. So Bartholomew Dyer's Monument and Vasco da Gama Monument. This one was uh, further down. We didn't stop at it. Padros commemorating the Portuguese navigators who first rounded the Cape and opened the sea route to India. There we go. Check what else you got here. The types of things you can find. What is this guy? Cape Clawless Otter. And we've got some sort of duck here. Interesting. Flower in flower this month. Oh cool. Watsonia. We saw tons of these on the way in. We've got I saw some of these. Erica. These. Lucidendron. Erica. I don't know if I saw these. These are also known as the pin cushion. Hmm. <laughs> this is probably what we just saw. One of these little guys. Um, I think it's a Cape Leopard tortoise. I'm not 100 percent sure, but uh, they might have some more information. One of these things. The last peninsula leopard. Oh, 1995. All the birds. Yo, what is that? What is number three? Here we go, African olive pigeon. Huh. I don't know if these are, I don't know if you get all of these here, but maybe. Have a look here, Cape of Storms. So if you don't know Cape of Good Hope, also known as uh, Cape of Storms, um, over 650 proud ships have come to grief along the shores of the stormy Cape Peninsula. Albatross Rock of Olifants Barcelona has claimed nine, more than any other or flying danger in Cape waters. There's Vasco da Gama's monument. Yeah, super cool. Lots of information. Ready to go home? Yeah. Cool. Have a look at that, guys. The beach you can see there is Musenberg, Misty Cliffs, whatever, whatever. I oh, know you can't really see it, but... Oh, oh. Gone. Check there, guys. You can see into the dockyard from this angle. So we're coming down Red Hill Road, which is alternative route. Simonstown is our naval base in South Africa. Hmm? Yes. The water looks beautiful. I've never
never seen it look this good. Really? Yeah. So it's just for us? Well, I don't come this often, so. <laughs> I'm just watching the uh, cricket and I think I said it earlier this morning um, that the stadium, the Newlands Cricket Stadium is like just that way which makes it really nice to watch if you want to watch it with one eye because I'm just chilling on my phone and then every now and again you get this uh, eruption from the, from the, the cricket grounds and then uh, you know, okay, probably worth watching now so we'll see they're 234 for 8 <laughs> And they're probably going to be 234 for 9 in, I think, 15 seconds. Oh, there we go. Who could have seen that coming? Before I started watching the cricket, or well, the reason I started watching the cricket is because um, someone started having a nap <laughs> after we were watching this show, which is the new best show on the internet. Just because it's the one that we're currently watching, called Messiah or Messiah, Messiah, is it Messiah or the Messiah. Messiah. If you move, 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 it's called Messiah. Move, uh, well, it's really good. It's really good. Messiah. Really interesting. All right. So we just uh, finished the the whole series, and um, we've obviously been watching it for a while. I don't know. What a show. Hey, okay. <laughs> what do you think? It was good. Watch it if you want. <laughs> we have just left the flat in a little bit of a rush. Um, well, not really. A slight rush. But uh, we're going out for dinner with some friends of mine. Um, some friends of ours. It's always good light coming and driving this road in sunset. Oh, it was terrifying. <laughs> you what, bro? So we are coming to this restaurant. I love the dough. Um, yo, it's very pink inside. It smells outside. Okay, who doesn't like this place? Very trendy. Fine. Here's the menu for those interested. Neon signs everywhere. What does it say? It's all good, baby, baby. I eat. These crazy cats got a whole bottle of bubbly between four of them. Everyone's here. Benny, Anna, Francis, Ben, Enzo, and JP, Pat, Haley, Sam. I got myself a classic. Yo, Sam got a fruit salad. Cheers everyone! Cheers! Cheers! Sweet. We went for a number two. It's very noisy in here. Very loud. Um, we were even saying how old are we if we asked for the turn, if we asked for them to turn the music down. And, and then we've also got for a little salad here. Yo, everything looks good. That not the blue tea. Everyone, how's the food, Benny? <laughs> Tell me now. How's the food? Everyone's food is here except for a few people. Classic. <laughs> Dominos. What are you doing with my drink? We've come to Old Fashioned and we're all squeezing into a little booth. Wait, what did I say? Did I say? <laughs> okay, staff doesn't like Old Fashioned. I think I said we've come to Old Fashioned, but what I meant was we've come to Hanks. I got an Old Fashioned. You don't like it? I don't know what I was expecting, but that damn I was. <laughs> We're back home. After our drink at Hanks. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not feeling that great. I, have, I wasn't feeling that great since we left um, Cape Point. So I'm like ready for bed. And, um, night, guys. Yeah, night, um, but I actually oh. like. Oh, are you good? <laughs> yeah, the the the. So that place, I love the dough. I think general consensus was that the service was like subpar. It was just like yeah, they, I don't need to get into details. But if someone asked me pizza place to go, that wouldn't be top of my list. Let me put it that way. But otherwise, the food was okay. Also, again, doesn't make the top of my list. So nothing to rave about. Let me put it that way. Trendy place, messes with your eyes. Everything looks kind of green when you leave. But I will see you guys in the morning, maybe. I think we might do something fun in the morning. We'll see. <sighs> Good first day of vlogging back in the year, I think. I don't know. I can't remember if I filmed enough stuff or not. But we'll see. See you guys sometime soon for another slice of mat. All right. Reverse. Just Make sure to check your mirrors. What? 
Hello.